The 2016-2017 Bentley Continental GT Speed It's been only a year since Bentley introduced a mild visual update for the Bonkers GT Speed and massaged its W12 powerplant for an additional 10 ponies, and the Brits have issued yet another upgrade for its fastest production Grand Tourer ever. Set to bow at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show in March as a 2016 model, the revised GT Speed is part of an overhaul of the entire GT lineup, as well as the four-door flying spur. The GT Speed essentially borrows the visual enhancements that now adorn the standard GT, while receiving unique details that make it stand out as the most quick and powerful member of the GT family. The mild upgrade brings a few nips and tucks in the cabin as well, likely to keep it fresh until the third-generation model arrives sometime in 2018. Granted, Bentley's decision to update the Continental GT Speed two years in a row might seem strange, but the new add-ons are the result of the standard Continental's mid-cycle facelift. Let's have a closer look at what the GT Speed has in store for the 2016 model year in the detailed review below. Updated May 27, 2016, Bentley announced prices for the 2017 Continental GT Speed, both coupe and convertible versions. Check the prices section to see how much you will have to pay for it. Click past the jump to read more about the Bentley Continental GT Speed. Exterior Updates continue around back with a more sculpted trunk lid that includes a more pronounced integrated spoiler. While last year's update brought body-colored aerodynamic enhancements and a darker finish for the headlamp, taillights and 21-inch wheels, the 2016 facelift brings a redesigned front bumper and a slightly revised grille. The grille does little to change the coupe's appearance, but the new apron adds a touch of aggressiveness, thanks to its redesigned intake layout. The massive center vent now extends toward the fenders, while the side intakes have been enlarged and raised closer to the headlamps. The front fenders gained a new B-shaped vent where the speed emblem was fitted on the previous model, and the emblem was relocated between the front wheel and the door, right above the side sills. What I like about this new side vent is that it blends in with the character line that runs from the front bumper toward the rear haunches. It's details like these that can make a Grand Tourer stand out from a design standpoint. Updates continue around back with a more sculpted trunk lid that includes a more pronounced integrated spoiler. It might not be the best comparison, but it reminds me of the Porsche 9112 rupees and 70 paise. And I like it. While the new trunk lid can also be found on the standard GT, the revised rear diffuser is unique to the GT Speed and the V8S complementing the new diffuser as a new chrome strip that runs the entire length of the upper bumper. Classy. Exterior dimensions. Interior. Likewise, the center console gained a black gear lever surround instead of the previous gray one, while cabin lighting is now provided by LEDs. Inside the cabin, updates are less extensive, but noticeable nevertheless. Driver controls have been revised for a crisper look, while the instrument panel received new dials and graphics. Likewise, the center console gained a black gear lever surround instead of the previous gray one, while cabin lighting is now provided by LEDs. The Mulliner driving specification, which comes standard on the GT Speed, has been updated to include a smaller diamond quilting pattern, reminiscent of a tailored British jacket for the front seats. In addition to all of the above, customers can now add a host of new options to their GT Speeds, including softer semi-aniline hide and color-matched Alcantara for all the available leather hues. Speaking of colors, Bentley added shortbread and camel to the existing options, meaning buyers can choose between 17 different shades for the 2016 model year. Lastly, the GT Speed got a revised onboard Wi-Fi system for improved connectivity. Drivetrain 0 to 100 comes in just 9 ticks, while top speed is a mind-boggling 206 miles per hour. While the venerable 6.0-liter W12 power plant received a 15 horsepower and 15 pound-feet increase in the standard Continental GT, it remained unchanged in the GT speed. The lack of upgrades to the drivetrain makes sense though, as the range-topping model gained an extra 10 ponies and 17 pound-feet of twist in 2014. That said, the GT Speed carries on with 626 horsepower and 607 pound-feet of torque, which is nothing to sneeze at. 
Routed to the wheels through a ZF8 speed automatic, the oomph is enough to propel the heavy coupe from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 4 seconds, and from 0 to 109, while top speed is a mind-boggling 206 miles per hour. Although Bentley says the updated W12 in the standard Continental GT has an improvement to fuel economy of up to 5%, due to a new cylinder deactivation feature, it's unclear whether this applies to the GT Speed's power plant or not. Should the 626 horsepower version benefit from that new feature, expect the GT Speed to return up to 21 mpg of the highway instead of the previous model's 20 mpg figure. New for 2017. Having already received an update for 2016, the GT Speed was expected to carry over unchanged for the 2017 model year. However, Bentley decided that the 6.0-liter W12 deserves a new upgrade and revised some of its internals to squeeze a bit more power. In its new configuration, the massive turbocharged W12 cranks out 633 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of twist, which is a 7 horsepower and 13 pound-feet increase over the 2016 model. While it might not seem like a lot, the extra oomph comes with re-optimized boost control, which allows the drivetrain to deliver maximum torque between 2,000 and 5,000 revolutions per minute, thus offering greater acceleration performance. As a result, the 0 to 60 mph sprint dropped from 4 to 3.9 seconds, setting a new benchmark for the Continental nameplate. Drivetrain specifications. Prices. Pricing for the Continental GT Speed starts from $240,300, about $10,000 more than the previous model. The convertible model fetches $264,300 before options. Competition Aston Martin Vanquish When it comes to luxury grand tourers with massive, naturally aspirated mills under their hoods, the Aston Martin Vanquish is the only rig that can pose a threat to the Continental GT Speed. Now in its second generation, the Vanquish received a mild update for the 2015 model year, consisting of new, lighter wheels, new colors inside and out, upgraded dampers, and a new, Touchtronic 3, 8-speed automatic transmission. A revised exhaust and a reconfigured engine management system added three extra horses and eight pound-feet of torque to the already powerful mill, taking the grand total to 568 ponies and 465 pound-feet. While that might not sound like a lot when compared to the GT Speed's 626 horsepower and 607 pound-feet rating, the Vanquish is actually a bit quicker than the Bentley. The secret lies in the new ZF transmission, which enables the Aston Martin to hit 60 miles per hour from a standing start in only 3.6 seconds. That's a half second quicker than the previous model and 0.1 second faster than the GT Speed. In addition, the Vanquish now guzzles 7% less gasoline, which means 14 mpg city and 20 mpg highway, and emits about 10% less carbon dioxide. Pricing-wise, the Vanquish is significantly more expensive than the GT Speed, fetching in excess of $290,000. Read more about the Aston Martin Vanquish here. Conclusion much like any other Bentley facelift, the revised Continental GT Speed comes with few updates inside and out. However, that's not to say the 2016 model is dated. The new exterior features just enough novelties to make the new coupe stand out, while the revised interior gained what customers have been asking all along, more ways to customize their cabins with finer materials and updated technology. With the engine having been upgraded the previous year, it's safe to say the GT Speed is plenty powerful for 2016. After all, the Continental GT is more than just a quick means of transportation. It's a lifestyle. Love it revised exterior with sportier front bumper luxury packed interior with new options still the fastest Bentley ever. Leave it slower than competition needs better handling updated history. Updated the 4th of April 2016, Bentley announced that for the 2017 model year, the Continental GT Speed will receive a boost in both power and torque. Continue reading to learn about the improvements received. Updated the 5th of November 2015, Bentley dropped a new video showing its latest Continental GT Speed hitting an incredible speed of 206 miles per hour on Stewart Highway, Australia, one of only three de-restricted roads in the world.
Behind the wheel was Australian racing legend, John Bowie. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.